is a person grabbing you by both your hands from behind and you're going to use a keto to get out of it. My assistant here, Mr. Marable, we're going to show you how to get out if a person grabs you from behind, both your hands from behind. Like we always say, you need to practice, practice, practice. You're just trying to stop the person from trying to hurt you. No fighting, nice and quick. Okay, Mr. Mayor, we're going to turn around. I'm going to grab both of his hands. What he's going to do, he's going to step back just a little bit and start scooping his hands up to break my grip. All right, my grip is broken. And he's going to grab a thunder, and now he's going to step out and bring it up. And he's got both of his hands up on my hand, and now my elbow is turned out to the side. He's got my wrist turned up, and now he's just going to come down, and, and the pressure's going to my uh, elbow and to my shoulder, and as and, and, and he brings his arms down, I go down, and he pushes me away. I cannot stand that pressure on my wrist, elbow, and shoulder. We're going to do it again. I grab him, he steps back a little bit, and he starts scooping up, breaking the grip. All right, as the grip broken, he, he reaches up under, his thumb is, is on the back of my hand, and he, and, and he just brings it out. Stops right there, put both hands on mine, he grabs it, making sure my elbow is turned top to the side. I'm not up like this right here. That's why he stepped out. And he just stopped bringing his arms down, which takes me down. And he pushes me away. Okay, now we're going to use another angle to show you the grip and stuff like that of uh, how Mr. Merrill gets out of this. So from here, alright, I'm going to grab him. And he's going to step back just a little bit. And he's going to start scooping his hands up. And my grip has not got weak. He pulls out. And he grabs up under. See, I grabs up under, and he steps out, come around, and turn it. And he got his distance. If I tried to hit him, all, all, all the idea is bring his arms down, bring his arms down, and I'm disabled. He pushes me away. He's out of it. So. Don't make no difference, you know, which side you do it on. As long as you get the fundamentals of breaking the grip, grabbing, and stepping out, and coming down. Any self-defense move that we're teaching you should take no more than five seconds to get out. Five seconds is a long time if you are being attacked. And this was self-defense, double hand grab from behind, using the keto.